Hey YouTube, Al Williamson here with LeadingLandlord.com. I want to sh share with you some problems I've had with my short-term rentals and how I've overcome them, the products that I've used to overcome them. I just wanted to do just a, a quick summary of that for you. I thought it would help you out. The first one is the most embarrassing <laughs> is that we had some roaches. Even though we have professional treatment um, at our, our building that we own, we have a company that does that. They even do the interior if you have an outbreak but we still can get it under control and you just can't have roaches in your furnished rental so I, I shared that with some other operators and I got recommended this stuff this Avion stuff and I, I purchased it and I was waiting to get results before I recommend it because my my handyman who was applying it says oh man this stuff don't work and then he called me back several times says hey Al that works it really really works and he, he wanted more of it but I said you know from my research it lasts six months to a year so we're gonna wait six months and give it a, another dose but we are very very happy with the results this Avion it's like a little syringe what we do is we we cut out a little piece of paper about this big cardboard and we put some on it and then we slide it back into the cabinets and we also make a little wrapping of tape and we apply it on the tape and we stick it up under the cabinets and uh, wherever we've seen them. So we always place this stuff where we've seen it and it's been knocking them out. So very happy with that Avion. Next thing is I got a complaint about some mildew being built up in the shower of one of these places that I master lease. I do a rental arbitrage and I didn't want to cut a hole and install an exhaust fan in this guy's place because it wasn't my place so I was researching all around on what to do how to how to um, exhaust it out the window and it just wasn't really good and then I realized I could just get a dehumidifier and we, what we did we got this one here and it, it works really good it's a small one it's only $50 and we stick it right next to the sink the vanity and um, we keep it running all the time and we ask our guests to empty it once a day, just make it part of their routine. And that has done it for us. That has eliminated the mildew problem. It used to build up on the ceiling and look very unsightly, and that takes care of it. So if you don't have an exhaust fan in your bathroom and you're having a mildew mold issue, make sure it's mildew though, uh, just throw in a dehumidifier. This one works great for, for our bathroom. Next is making sure that you have the right encasement on your pillows. The pillows are definitely an investment. You don't want to see the, the sweat stains on them. So this first one in green, it has a two pack and you can get two of them for the price of one of these other ones, one of the purple or blue ones. I was always getting that, but it's not bed bug rated. <laughs> it's not bed bug rated, so I don't recommend it. I do recommend the purple um, pillowcase alignment because it is washable. See, I was I thought I was doing great by buying the blue one, this maximum protection, but it, it's waterproof and is not washable. So when I found when people are washing it and they throw it in the dryer, it turns into a plastic ball and they throw it out. And I kept having to rebuy these because I was buying the wrong one. I was trying to get bed bug protection, but I was buying the wrong one. You want to buy one that's washable, this purple one. Okay. So make sure you do that. It's going to save you in, in the long run. And of course, bed bug encasements for your mattresses. That's really important. I was going cheap before and, and trying to just get a regular encasement. And that was great until someone suspects that they have bed bugs. And then you want to be able to, to show them the, the label and them to be able to look it up on Google and see that it is bed bug rated. Okay, so you want that rating when push comes to shove, you want that. And you also need it on the, the box spring. If you have a box spring, you need a, a bed bug cover on it because those bugs like wood. <laughs> and box springs, of course, have wood. So even more important, just as important to fully encase your box spring with a bed bug rated one. Now. I would, being cheap, would just get a regular encasement and put a piece of duct tape over the zipper 
because that's pretty much the only difference is a covering over the zipper. But if you have a threat of bed bugs or if someone accuses you or suggests that they got bit by a bed bug, you want to be able to show them the label. You want to be able to defend yourself. So don't go cheap. Make sure you always get something that has a label on it that someone can Google on their own and see that it's bed bug rated. Also, we had a fence that was a trash enclosure. So um, tenants would have to use their key, unlock it, and they push the gate open and they go empty their trash and close it and, and use their key. So keys were getting lost and sometimes people couldn't find their keys. So they would end up leaving their trash in front of the gate. So I'm like, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. We got to go keyless. So I got this device, it's a mechanical lock, no batteries. It's a push button mechanical lock and it works really great. This is what it looks like on our gate. It, um, you type in the numbers and then you, you turn the dial or it extends a piece of steel and that's how it locks. And it works really good. Everyone loves it. It's solved a lot of problems. It's pretty inexpensive. It's um, only a hundred bucks. I'm gonna leave this link and all the links in the description, so check out the description of this video if you want to see the exact links that I'm using. Also, when I was out and about and when I, was, I travel, when I'm speaking about midterm rentals, and if you want me to come to your town, send me a note. I'll come to your group and speak to speak to them as well. But I used, found, used this product at one of the Airbnbs I've stayed at. It's a three-in-one. It's a body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, all in one, made by Arm & Hammer. You do have to order it from Target or order it from Amazon. Again, I'll leave a link in the description, but it works great. I think it's a great simplifying thing. So you're not always running around trying to find uh, the same brand of conditioner, body wash and shampoo. That's what I always try to get the same brand, make it look pretty. But this is nice and simple and I recommend it. It works great. Now, this is an honorable mention. This is not related to your furnished rentals. As I'm traveling, as I'm flying about, I have a hard time sleeping on the plane and I found this inflatable pillow. I use it, um, put my head on it like this, and I'm able to get some sleep. And then I turn it um, sideways, and I put my arms through it like this, and I'm able to rest too. I don't fly first class. <laughs> I don't fly first class, and I, I have these long flights from California to the East Coast, and this really helps me get into different positions and help me sleep, and I want to sleep that time pass. So this is an honorable mention that I want to throw in there. Now, I hope all this helps you. These are the products I've actually used and purchased and I recommend. I didn't want to recommend them too soon like the, like the cockroach uh, syringe until I tested it out. But I've tested all these things. They work great. I recommend them to you and I hope that helps. Now, if you're looking for more ways to reduce your expenses and increase your income, you know what to do. Just subscribe.